Hey there guys, my name is J4D, bringing you a 3v3 commentary this time, and also for this game I have no co-commentator, I am all by myself. However, I am still going to do this to the best of my ability. Looking at blue team straight away, Radical has decided to go for Volley Bear in the jungle. Purple team don't have a jungle with them, so we will find out if that spirals out of control for blue team. Having a jungler in 3v3, it will... It will give blue team the XP advantage for sure, and possibly the kills advantage, seeing as Radical pretty much has free ganks wherever he wants. Whoever's on bottom lane though, out of Lee Sim Sion, he will likely have to face two people. It will be annoying for said person, if I'm being perfectly honest. Trendemir on 3v3 is... Well, Trendemir is annoying in any type of game, even bots or level 1 games, but still, on 3v3, if fed, Trendemir will wreck completely. Jogath and Mundo. Mundo really likes... Sorry, Zero Rep really likes playing Mundo on 3v3 maps, and to be honest, I completely understand where he's coming from. He's He's a fun champion to play, really. He goes wherever he pleases. I believe his ultimate increases movement speed and oh my god. Right. I completely apologize about missing that. Um I missed Zero Rep getting killed. I need a better connection. Okay. Uh my sit is still messing about. Xcon had to recall and Radical Jazzle Dicodosin are hanging around in the offensive jungle. Already picking up first blood and two assists as well. It looked like a team fight that picked off Mundo completely unawares, and they're just going to go straight in and secure these, secure these minions to help Radical on his way. He's got his frenzy up. He is likely going to use that on something. Never mind, he won't. Radical just tanks the, the more important golem. Anyway, Daiko Dosen against some minions, a big Lee Sin jump, which is always quite fun to watch, being perfectly honest. I'm always a fan of Lee Sin. Lee Sin is he's one of those champions that is definitely fun to watch with the what what are the abilities called? Uh, Sonic Wave Resonating Strike followed by the Safeguard Iron Will out. In fact, Hexcon has taken a lot of damage right now. If the cooldowns were there, Daiko Dosen could have gone in for the kill. Xcon already down to a very nice 200 health. So already things are going well for blue team. They are, well, it's very, it's way too early to take gold into account, but they're one kill to the good. They're creeping better so far, and Zero Rep is just hiding in the brush, or lobbing cleavers whenever he gets the opportunity. Radical is actually taking a lot of damage from these golems right now. He's a. Uh, will he actually survive this? He's down to 100, and he's down to 80 health. This is actually quite interesting. He has to pop his summoner heal due to the fact that his passive is already down. That golem is down. He will have to recall now. He's on too low health to contend with any other minion camps. At the moment, it looks like Jazzle is doing a pretty good job fending off my sit as Cho'Gath. The shield acting very nicely right now. In fact, why is Jazzle standing still? I have a feeling he's disconnected. That is not so good. Oh, why must people disconnect? Zero Rep is down to two bars of HP, and Jazzle is just standing around. However, it was an epic bait. No, it wasn't. That is a dishonorable kill. I have to admit. That is... Well, it's not how you want to start off the game, disconnecting and stuff. Radical goes in for the kill on a couple of minions, and he's going to walk into Mundo right now. May be able to make something happen, in fact he won't, because Cho'Gath is on the other side. There's the rupture, it misses Radical completely. There's the flip, and I'm guessing the... There's the fierce slow, the raw, I believe it's called. What's it called? Uh, majestic raw. There we go. Xcon already taking the red buff. Radical is hanging around, but he's gonna get cornered, cornered off here. Zero Rep is hitting Radical all by himself. There goes the 
Swirling fireballs of doom. Radical even had an exhaust buzz on as well. Here comes Dicardosin. There's not a lot of damage going on right now. Xcon exhausting Radical once again. Dicardosin and Radical both being fed. Zero rep. Why are you going forward? That is going to be a kill for Radical. Why would you do such a thing? Zero rep. Even when it's 3v2, you don't go face checking a volley bear. Or at least send for that matter. Anyway, along comes Xcon. Xcon taking a lot of damage. Down goes an Ignite as well. And Dicardosin picks up a kill. He's now 2 0 1, Radical 1 0 2. And Jazzle hasn't actually come back yet. Red buff will be going to blue team. And it looks like, well, it looks like there's just going to be a straight up fight. Uh, it will be going to someone. Lee Sin, there we go. Jazzle has reconnected. It's unfortunate that he died, unfortunate that he had to reconnect, but regardless, he's back now, and now it's a straight up 3v3. The Purple Minions are actually doing a fair amount of pushing on top lane, which Lee Sin needs to take care of as soon as he possibly can. Zero Rep hanging around in his favourite brush, of course. Jazzle. Jazzle is actually the same level as Shogath and Zero Rep, and in fact Xcon. Even despite the disconnect, he's managed to keep up levels wise. And he even has more minions than Shogath, which is impressive to say the least. In the meantime, I missed a kill on. Di a kill by Dicodosan onto Zero Rep, and Zero Rep in turn killing Radical. Radical having neither his passive nor the heal ready. Dicodosan has to recall very soon, seeing as he's not got a lot of health left. Jazzle is going in for the... in fact he's not going in for anything. His shield got destroyed by the Chogath Rupture. And so Jazzle is going in for another assault. He doesn't have any mana for a stun, which is disappointing. However, he pops it anyway. doesn't do a lot of damage to Chogath, but still enough to cause a tad bit of concern. Dicodosan's back in the lane and hitting the minions all day long. Xcon is taking a... well, actually, Dicodosan's taking more damage than Xcon. There's the Trindamir spin to win, and Trindamir may be able to make a kill if he had some summon spells available. His exhaust is down, his ghost is down, Radical comes in as well. There's the slow, there's the flip. It doesn't flip Xcon anywhere. Xcon spins to win out of the rush. Zero Rep is coming along now. And he lobs a cleaver right in Radical's face, and now Zero Rep is on the wrong side of a 2v1. Needs to be very careful here, taking a lot of damage. Xcon comes swirling in any second now, or at least he should. Chogath is there as well. Dicodosin picks up a kill on Zero Rep. Radical will go down if it wasn't for his passive. Any second now, nope, his passive keeps him alive. There's Lee Sin as well, Lee Sin taking a fair amount of damage, but. In fact, Xcon is going to go down there. Dicodosin is now unstoppable. They're all going to turn onto my Sid. Jazzle kiting everyone around and finally doing the killing, executing blow onto my Sid with an ace and a 3 0 exchange. Wow, okay. Jazzle and Radical are all on flashing health, and it's Dicodosin who's the one who goes. Hang on. Oh, they're typing, they're not disconnecting. I get it now. You know, they scared me, Radical and Jessel. Zero Rep is going to farm up a bit, and he's going to do the best he can, but he's already died four times. This is not going well for him. However, he does have the entire amount of team's kills. Xcon doing a bit of jungling. He's got his level 6, which means... He's got his ultimate. Shogath also has his ultimate. Let's see if he has any feast stacks. Not yet. He'll... There we go. There's the first stack of feast. Jazzle is incoming. Doesn't have any mana, so doesn't have that much sustainability in this lane. Does he have any lifesteal? No, he doesn't. He's playing AP Scion. Dicodosin comes flying in. A cleaver sending him flying back as well. Now Trendmere is doing a bit of jungling right now. He will bump into Dicodosin as well. However, there's Radical, and Xcon needs to be very careful. The exhaust goes down onto Radical. Xcon taking a lot of damage. He will not have to burst his ultimate right now. There's the kick of doom, and Chogath burns... Sorry. 
Uh, Trendemir burns his ultimate just to make sure he survives. Zero Rep is very much nearly dead right now. His ultimate goes down, but he's taking a lot of damage right now. And this is without Jazzle even there, as Sion doing a bit of damage. Dicodosin doing loads of damage. Radical also the same with the frenzied four attack lightning bolt. Dicodosin will not go in to try and tower dive that. Instead, they will retreat and kill off the Grey Wraith. I believe that's the movement speed speed buff Wraith. It goes to Lee Sin, and yeah, did the movement speed one. Dark Odosin still moving at a fairly decent pace, even despite the cleaver being hit into his coccyx. Jazzle's still farming up right now, 55 minions. He's already got a needlessly large rod. He is... Well, actually, let's take a look. Um, well, blue team is essentially on 2,000 gold each, whereas... Sorry, purple team is on 2,000 gold each, whereas blue team... They're between four and three thousand each. Zero Rep is launching cleavers over the wall and a lot of blind poking right there. But it's actually been quite successful. Jazzle is sticking around. Down goes the ultimate as well, the shield for Jazzle as well, a lot of lifesteal. But right now they're just poking across the wall hoping for the best. Jazzle is nearly back to full health and the minion camp is gone. There we go. So, having a quick look at items right now, Cherigak has gone for the Doran's Ring and Catalyst. That's probably going to be turned into a needlessly large... Sorry, what am I saying? It's probably going to be turned into a Rod of Ages. Trindamere, on the other hand, he's going for the damage, crit, standard Trindamere troll build. Whereas Mundo, he's going for the tank. Zero Rep taking loads of damage. His ultimate goes down, but the passive isn't enough. Dicodosin getting the killing blow with the Kick of Doom. Catavalp is down to a good half health. So, Volibear, he's going for a Spirit Visage, or at least that's how it looks right now. Pretty good item with Volibear, considering his passive and, well, health regeneration. It's a pretty good item if you've got a lot of health regen. Whereas Lee Sin, he's got his Brutalizer, he's probably going for a Yumu's Ghost Blade right now seeing as that's what a Brutalizer does, and Scion's just going flat AP. Who can blame him, really? So, XCON taking a lot of damage under the turret, He's, he has healed a fair amount of it up. Radical slowing and flipping Zero Rep constantly, Radical taking a fair amount of damage, but as is Zero Rep, they do have the turret, and they're not essentially turret diving right now. Anyway, Jazzle and Cadvalp are on their way to support their team. Blue team did just get Dragon as well, and Zero Rep is there, and Zero Rep got completely destroyed by the combined efforts of everyone. Radical's there, there's the flip onto my sit. The tower is down, and Trindamir will just be killing everyone. The ultimate by Trindamir gets thrown down, even though he didn't exactly... well, he didn't need it to survive. Radical essentially gets a free turret here, or at least a free half turret. In the meantime, I believe Jazzle will be recalling, or on second thought, he'll kill some minions. So, Zero Rep is back, his ultimate is up once again. In fact, what's the cooldown on that? I want to have a quick look. Uh, 65 seconds, wow, that's a fair amount of cooldown. But Radical is going to get caught, off, caught out of guard here, the cripple goes down, and they're going to kill Radical. Radical taking loads of damage. The passive will not help him. Radical falls down. So it's 10-4 right now at the 30 minute 45 second mark with a very, very nice 5.4k gold difference and one tower to the good for blue team. Blue team essentially having the advantage right now. Dicodosin is hanging around top jungle. I don't think he knows that well, I don't think he knows that the team are nearby. Uh, a very nice pounce by Darkadosin as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Zero Rep has burnt his ultimate just to get the health regen. Down goes the cleaver as well. And I'm expecting the swirling balls of fire any second now. Any second now. No, no. Never mind. Disappoint me, why don't you Zero Rep? So... 
Xcon is doing a bit of damage onto Jazzle, however Radical is on his way. A very well timed stun by Jazzle, keeping Xcon from escaping. Xcon will go down. His ultimate is only a couple of seconds away. Jazzle is on now killing spree. 3 1 4 for him. Mundo makes it away with very low health, or at least they just don't have any type of tank on this team. Granted, Cho'Gath has got two stacks of feet and has a relatively nice health bar, but that is essentially it. Catvalp taking loads of damage, as is Lee Sin taking turret damage, and speaking of the health bar, Cho'Gath just ran out of his. And Dykodosin just goes straight in for the kill, and wow, well played by Dykodosin. Uh, tanking the turret hits. He's going to have to jump just to survive right now. And will he survive? No, he won't. XCOM picks up the kill from one last tower hit, I suspect, because XCOM was stunned by Jazzle. So we could possibly see a tower dive right now. Radical has enough mana to make that happen. However, Jazzle has not enough mana to make it work. Although, even though it doesn't, it's hardly the worst thing for blue team. 13 to 5, 17.1 to 10.4k gold, 2 towers to 0. It definitely looks like blue team are going to win this one. So, my sit is making his. Well, he's pushing his way forward. Radical is. Well, blue team are the only one who has brush control right now. And they know exactly when the dragon. Sorry, Drake is going to respawn. Red buff will be going to Radical, or at least it would if the flip did a bit more damage. Zero Rep using the Bulls of Fire to kill off the Wraiths. Trendmare is farming as best as he can. He's only got 55 minions compared to... Well, compared to Lee Sin's 50 and 7 kills, and compared to Scion's 101 minions, even by minion standards, it's going in favour of purple team. Sorry, blue team. It's certainly not going in favour of purple team right now. Zero Rep hanging around the, hanging around his own side of the jungle right now. Treadmere on his way, and they had no idea that Jazzle just went around there. There is a ward there, so they know exactly where Zero Rep is. And there's the stun. Loads of damage on the shield. XCOM's ultimate is up. He's likely to spin to win over the wall. Yes, he does. Zero Rep. It's every man for himself. His flash is down. He's going where he pleases. He's going to try and juke people, but there goes the stun, there's the shield as well. A lot of health regen, but it's not going to help him right now as Volleybear comes along, flips him back into the team, and Radical picks up another kill. Radical on 4-2-6 right now. So, Dykodosin did use the resonating wave onto... Actually, did I get that right? Keep on forgetting. Sonic Wave and Resonating Strike, okay. I'm just calling I'm just gonna call it Blue Ball and Chuck Norris Kick. Yeah, that works. So Blue Team are going to do a bit of farming. In fact, they're going to do some hardcore farming. They're going to kill this Drake. That's how hardcore they are. And there's the Q by Lee Sin and the Resonating Strike kick into the face by the dragon. Trendmare may try to make something happen with Jazzle, it's unlikely. Jazzle has a lot of mana and a lot of AP to boot. He has his Rabadon's Death Cap as well, as well, just to make things even more complicated for him. Uh, let me just go back to Spectator, there we go. Uh, Zero Rep taking a lot of damage from the Sonic Wave Resonating Strike combo of Lee Sin. And there's the mega ultimate kick backwards to Jazzle served up on a platter for Jazzle to get the kill on Zero Rep once again. It's really a question of how long it'll take for Purple Team to A. Surrender or B. Finish the game. Radical's finishing off the Wraiths right now. He's picked up the movement speed buff as well as the uh, attack speed buff which is always nice. A Volibear with an attack speed buff and his and his frenzy giving him even more attack speed for each attack he does. He just ends up steamrolling. So if they knew that Chogathos was there, they may be able to have taken off a fair number of stacks of feast up from him. The Sonic Wave goes out, doesn't do a lot of damage. 
Lee Sin only has 153 damage, so that just goes to show I need to stop myself from talking because Radical picked up kill on Zero Rep and I completely missed it. Daikados and so very nearly going into turret range right there, and this turret will be going down very shortly. Radical actually taking a fair amount of damage, his passive kicks in from the damage of the tower and the and the scream from Shogath as well. Even more gold for blue team right now, they're down to two, the inhibitor and then the nexus turret. It's at times like this that I wish that I was playing as Skana or Ramus, just something to drag people into the nexus turret to watch them die a very quick painful death. Because of fun like that, and Dicardosan, you hacker, you're going through the wall. And you're going through that wall. Oh, never mind. Xcon popped his ultimate. In fact, he didn't pop his ultimate, he just had a very well timed heal. And he's actually juking quite nicely if it wasn't for Radical and Fury. So, anyway, looking at Scion, he has 390 AP, another needlessly large rod right now. I want Dark Adosin to jump in. It's not going to happen. Never mind, this tower will not last long at all. The stun going down onto my sit, a lot of damage onto him, taking him down to half health. Cho'Gath is up to his six stacks of feast, so he will lose up to half of them when he dies. That's three stacks of feast, a good 270 health that he loses. Jazzle, be careful where you're treading. Okay, just taking a bit more health off of my sit right now. And this inhibitor will be going down, followed shortly by the other inhibitor, I assume. Dicodosin hanging around. Trindamir is not doing anything right now. Granted, he has the most amount of kills on Purple Team right now. Three kills compared to Zero Reps 2 and My Sit 0. But still, he just can't spiral into the monster that Trindamir always becomes. Dicodosin is. Dicodosin is the monster in this game, I have to admit. Granted, Scion's getting there with the amount of AP, but still. Zero Rep is... he's likely to be caught off right now. The Q will be going along any second now, or at least it should. The Q actually misses, but Zero Rep, his ultimate will keep him alive. His ultimate will actually keep him alive if it wasn't for the kick. Wow, a very nice Q and resonating strike from Lee Sin right there. Granted, he died in the process and possibly gave something up. No, it didn't. Never mind. In the meantime, Xcon did just burst his ultimate. Endless Rage is going along. He hasn't spin to win over the wall just to escape. Only 69 health at the time, which keeps on depleting down to 30. So this inhibitor is going down, and that only leaves the Nexus turret. In fact, a flash going in on Radical right there. Radical has his passive activated. They're going to try and burst him down. Camp Valp going with the Nom Nom. Now it's Jazzle's turn to run. He did get exhausted. He's likely to turn around and kill Xcon if he's not too careful. In fact, that's exactly what he does with the stun as well. Jazzle is now unstoppable and a brilliant juke over the corner of the wall to try and escape. He is trying to beat outrun Cho'Gath, which isn't hard because Cho'Gath's Cho'Gath. The rupture completely misses and Cho'Gath ends the chase. All that's left is the... no, the turret's even gone due to super minions and the lack of zero rep killing off the super minions. So all that's left is the nexus turret and the game to be over. Very, very shortly. Why are you showing off, Jazzle? That's, um, that's not cool, bro. So five turrets to zero right now. All the blue team's turrets are gone. All of purple team's turrets are up. 19 kills to 7. 60, 17 kill. Sorry. 17k gold to 16k. An 11k advantage. Nearly double of what blue has right now. Right, apparently XCOM's excuses because he sucks at 3v3. But Oh well, regardless. It was a fun game to watch. There were a fair number of good plays, and I'm happy that I'm casting it, to be honest. So, Radical once again benefiting from the loads of attack speed, and 
any second now they will push into the base the first inhibitor is up as well second one is still down so they're going to have to hack through in fact they don't need to hack through the first one Dicodosin is hanging by the wall just to try and make something happen he's likely to safeguard onto a champion just to get there sooner yep that's what he does this inhibitor is going down very shortly there we go now all that's left is the inhibitor blue team could hypothetically just run in tank all the damage and kill off the inhibitor which is exactly what they're going to do they're going to stay away from the stay away from the turret in fact Xcon gets flipped in they're all going to turn on to Xcon right now and Xcon he turns on endless rage way too early to be effective zero rep taking loads of damage from everyone right now Jazzle he pops his own his hourglass for no good reason and Jazzle picks up a kill on Cho'Gath just to put the cherry on the cake Dicodosin wanted to jump in I could tell that he wanted to queue and then kick someone in the face just before he died like a hero Chuck Norris kick anyway there we go that is a rather secure victory for blue team and I hope that next time it'll be a bit less one-sided but anyway regardless well played to um, to Radical, Jazzle and Dicodosin commiserations to XCON, MySit and Zero Rep so ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this video if you like it and would like me to continue doing these videos then please like and favour this one or subscribe to my channel if you'd like to be updated on the most recent news of my channel if you'd like to join Nexus Call then there'll be information on my channel homepage and one of these days I'll end up doing a cast of one of your games and it'll be good but anyway, my name's JE40E, and I'll see you next time.